Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this new project, which is called Micro GPT, which is a minimal autonomous agent that utilizes GPT 3.5 as well as GPT 4. Now, over, over the recent weeks, I've been covering a lot of different autonomous projects. However, this one is something that got my eye as it's focusing not on an overall aspect of completing complex tasks, but it is something that will be utilized to focus more on minimal autonomous tasks now before we actually get into the gist of the video guys i would highly recommend it that you subscribe uh turn on the notification bell comment anything that you want to see in the future and please like this video i'll definitely help the algorithm out so with that thought let's get right into the actual video now i'm going to leave the links down in the description below as well as some of the basic links that you'll need to actually run this application as in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys what this is showing you its limitations as well as showing you how you can actually install it now micro gpt as i talked about is a minimal autonomous agent that utilizes gpt 3.5 and as well as 4 architecture and it's been gaining a lot of liking in the recent couple of days and basically it is capable of performing various tasks such as like analyzing stock prices uh, which I'll show you down in the description. Obviously, it's not a stock, it's a crypto, but it's also good at conducting network security tests, creating art, organ order and ordering pizza, which is something that they highlighted, and it's something that's pretty cool. In essence, basically, Micro GPT is a generic agent that can be programmed to perform a wide variety of tasks for different functioning objectives basically now obviously this is not something like baby agi and what it's actually coded into doing but it's something more of a project that is focusing on the menial tasks that might someone have basic like difficulties in completing and it's striving towards basically attacking those types of tasks to basically ease off as well as make it a little bit easier for people to complete certain objectives now at its core as we talked about micro gpt is built off of gpt 3.5 turbo as well as gpt 4 architecture and which is as everyone knows it's basically the state of the art language model that has been trained on a vast amount of data now this allows micro gpt to actually understand natural language as well as generate responses based on the input it receives now basically micro gpt's ability to analyze stock prices and perform network security tests makes it Pretty useful for like financial analysis as well as cybersecurity. Now, its abilities to actually create art is something that we will actually talk about later on, as well as its potential to model. It models certain things to be applied in various artistic fields. Now, additionally, its capabilities to order pizza demonstrates its potential to actually use it in like maybe a food servicing business or an industry. So, these are some of the use cases of actually micro GPT now the code is basically available on github and it basically allows i'm going to be showing you guys how to actually install it and it's going to basically allow you guys to modify and extend its functionality so it suits anyone's needs and basically using it to help you with autonomous agents to complete tasks as well as help you with smaller tasks that you might have trouble doing on your own now some of the examples, uh, obviously to actually install it, you're gonna need to have uh, Python installed. Uh, this also requires a Pinecone key as well as an API key. And I highly recommend that you also have Git installed as this is what you're gonna be needing to have it cloned onto your desktop. Now, I wanna show you guys some examples of how you can actually use it as this is actually pretty cool and i thought it's something like a project that doesn't even have that much funding or any backing and it's cool that people are developing such things in this day and age as it's definitely going to advance ai to a next level with so many amazing people working on projects like this now in this case obviously there's restrictions to using certain languages to perform certain tasks like you can see over here draw a beautiful car Obviously, you're not going to get an output of a super generative like car model as this doesn't utilize all the data sets that other language models probably do. So please keep that in mind as this is just a beta access of what they're trying to do. Seeing some stuff like this is quite remarkable to me, in my opinion. So definitely good to see certain things like this. And we can see that you just input a prompt and you can see that draw a beautiful car. And what micro gpt is saying is that i will need to write a python code to draw a car and save it to the desktop and basically it gives you the command 
and once it's done that its objective is achieved another example is a bitcoin price analysis and we can see that the prompt was given that analyze the price data in the local file bitcoin.csv which is using the technical indicators and describe your analysis methodology and conclusion in detail and save the report to a text file so not only does it autonomously work to actually find you the prompt but it will go out of its way by having the same type of engine that baby agi had in which it continuously works through different tasks to achieve the overall objective until it's finally saved and completed onto your desktop now also it also says in the prompt that to include a detailed textual description of the steps taken and your reasoning behind each analysis step and we can see that micro gpt is going to first take on the step first i need to read the actual file so it reads it and it analyzes the data and depending on that it will import necessary libraries and basically what it's going to do now is use command with the computer of and as well as executing python uh, codes to actually import the actual files as well as the libraries to do so as well as to actually read the initial file that was set then what micro gpt was able to do is that now i'll be it'll be able to be format the data by fixing data format and it'll then convert the price data to a numeric format and this is just kind of crazy how it's actually working with python to continuously work through objecting like basically achieving the task and lastly and secondly lastly it says i will now calculate the rsi and basically technical which is like another technical indicator and add it to the data frame and it does that with the command prompt and at the end it saves the actual analysis and report in a text file and obviously the, i believe it's in the examples so you can definitely check it out later on but this is just another one and then another cool one is a micro micro gpt performing a network penetration test and this this is something that i found that was really really cool because uh, it was able to actually create a proof of concept to exploit for vulnerabilities that are found on the actual cyber network. And it actually was able to find something and save it to the actual desktop. And obviously, in certain cases, at the end, you need to maybe perform a task that needs to override the administration. So I believe he does that to save it to his desktop. And at the end, you're able to see a command that since the previous exploit attempt failed. Oh, sorry oops i will try to use nikito to scan the web server for vulnerabilities and i believe at the end it's to perform any action he is supposed to type a letter or an action that made it save it to its desktop and basically it was actually it passed the test and it was able to find a vulnerability and it was able to save it to a report in which you can use to actually say or to fix the actual vulnerability on your computer uh, obviously there's also cool things that they've done uh, it's not censored so it's pretty cool as taking over the world this is something that they were actually able to do uh i don't know how, how useful this might be but it's something that they were just testing out with the project uh, another cool thing i saw was the creating a generative art which is quite unique and pretty cool in my opinion as this is really cool to see uh obviously this is just like something it's not going to be some type as i said before it's not going to be some type of like amazing art that this project is going to try to generate as this application isn't quite extensive with its tech so you're not going to be able to generate certain things but you're able to do a menial task and that's the objective of what they're trying to do at the first stage uh basically ordering pizza doing these small little tasks so it basically eases off your day-to-day -day tasks and this is something that will be basically built upon with other people's across the community as well as uh the project leaders itself in terms of actually getting the next steps to actually do so now i'm going to move on to the next step in which we're going to be installing the application onto your desktop so first things first you're going to have to download git which is going to be used to actually clone from github to your desktop uh, secondly you're going to need to install python and this is the application that you're going to be using to code as well as install certain applications for that actual micro gpt and lastly you're going to need a code editor I personally use Visual Studio Code as it's more appealing and it's quite applicable to anyone. So I highly recommend that you download these three. It's completely free and we'll move on to the next step. So now go onto your GitHub page, which I'll leave in the description below. Copy this link, get clone. And what you want to do is open up command prompt. Obviously do not run it as administrator. I'm just using it as this is my test computer. So don't do that. 
Now, what you want to do is paste the actual copy link and you want to click enter. Now, it's going to be cloning the actual git link and you can basically say yes if you want to connect and go on next. And what you want to do is next is copy the CD micro GPT and you want to click enter. And once you're in the actual files, it can't find the files at the moment. So once I'm back, I'll, once I figured it out, I'll be back. Sorry guys, I think this link is not applicable. So what you want to do now is click on the code, copy this link, type git clone space, the actual link, copy and paste it and click enter. Now, once you're able to do that, now you can go ahead and click CD micro GPT and click enter. Now, once you're in this file, you want to actually install the requirements. So you take the pip install and you're able to do that by clicking this. And now you're going to be basically installing the application onto your desktop. Now, once this is done, I'll be back to you guys. So once that is completed, now you can actually open up your editor code. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. And now you want to open up the folder. It's going to be on your desktop or wherever you saved it. And once that is uploaded, I'll get to the next step. So I have it loaded up. And what you want to do now is go on to the .n file and you want to click edit, rename, sorry. And you want to take out the example. Once that is done, you want to click save. And now what you want to do is basically add your API key. So what you want to do now is go on to open AI's API key and you want to input your key. Obviously you need to have a balance on it and you need to make sure that it is actually you don't actually you take it off once you're done using it and changing the actual deleting the key and changing up the words for it because you don't want people to actually access and use your actual api key now you can use the gpt4 model or you can use the 3.5 turbo model so it depends on what you want to do there's also certain things that you can mess around with in terms of its parameters as well as its size so you can play around with these figures but in terms of using a pinecone key, you're going to also have to input this. So you need to put the region as to where, where you are. And this is free, obviously. So you can go on pinecone.com and get the actual pinecone API key. Uh, I believe you put the region here and you put the API key over here. Now, once you have inputted the keys, you want to click save and you want to move on to the next step where you go to the micro gpt.py file. Now, this is where you're going to be actually accelerating and creating your prompts and basically once you're here you need to go over the instructions and system prompt so obviously you don't want to tweak around with this you can also add your objective over here but you can also put the input the instruction over here in which you can make sure you carefully read where to actually input your instructions as well as considering to put your command obviously in terms of your reasoning you can have multiple different lines of python code that explains the reasoning so make sure you read through it and as to where you're trying to input it it clearly clearly says what you need to do and where you need to input it and that's basically a gist of how you can actually run it obviously once you're done inputting the prompt and what you want to generate you click save and how to run it is basically you click this little play icon at the top right corner and once you're able to do that it'll generate the text in new file or below and obviously if you want to save it it'll save it to a certain location on your local desktop and that is basically how you can actually run it on your desktop guys i hope you found this video very helpful guys as this is something that will be quite revolutionary if they keep on to working on it and i'm gonna keep on highlighting different things like this as this is gonna be very beneficial for you guys so i highly recommend that you ch check it out i'm gonna leave all the links down in the description if you found this video helpful guys please like the video comment anything that you want to see in the future and please subscribe and turn on the notification bell as it would definitely mean the world to me guys so with that thought i'll see you guys next time have an amazing day fellas and i'll see you guys later